Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to fix your USB ports on your Dell Octaplex computer. And yeah, these are not working as you can probably tell. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to try to go to the BIOS, clicking the keyboard, but whatever. Let's see. It says keyboard failure. And yes, this is completely unusable without its keyboard. You can't even click on the number light, but it still boots into Windows. And this is not a driver issue, too. If you have this problem, if you can't be able to access your BIOS, that means you fried your USB ports. Now, the funny thing is, it still supplies power, and I'll show you that right here. This little power indicator will be on on this SD card reader. See? It still sends power. I don't, here, let me cover that so you can see it. But it still supplies power, but it does not read any data. And I'll, oh, now it's just something interesting. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but this is actually the first time it's doing it. See how the light on the mouse is flickering a little bit? That shows there's a bad controller. Keyboard doesn't work. The mouse doesn't even work. Can't even go in there. Yeah, so that's bad USB ports. So now, what you're gonna have to do for this, this does require you to buy a card. Now, here it is right here. You're going to have to get one of these PCI, PCI cards. Just a standard PCI slot card. And now, in case you guys are new with computers or you know, know what's going on here. You got these two slots right here. Now, this is a Dell Octoplex 745. So, the slots happen to be here. So now what I'm going to have to do is turn out, shut the computer down, so because you don't want to be sticking new hardware in. And also have it connected to the internet, because some cases Windows 10 will recognize new devices by the update. Now I'm going to have to solve this internet issue first before proceeding on. So I'll stop it here and try to solve that, because you got to have internet for this. For this to work, okay, YouTube. Because you don't want to back down. I'm gonna hopefully he'll recognize the driver. It's a very basic USB 2.0 port type of card. So now, first things first, before even picking at anything in this computer, power is still on, and you can kind of tell because that little orange LED is still lit. Let me zoom into it. So now we're going to safely unplug it from the back. Yeah, for some reason that power supply just makes a little bit of squealing noises as you can probably hear. So now, and also it's always safe too to disconnect any hardware to it. Such as computer speakers, computer monitors, keyboard and mouse, or any other type of external devices you have on it. Disconnect them all. And the result why these ports are not working is because you overload these ports. Like it's called overloading. Or sometimes the USB killer. Now... The USB killer will do a lot more damage than destroy the ports a lot of times, but another result is overloading one USB port full of like you know devices, and it caused a surge to go back into the, a small surge to enter the controller. So just watch out for that. So now, since Dell is nice enough to make it a toolless design, we get to simply just unclip this. Just unclip it like that. And clip it out like that. 
Now, keep in mind, this is a Dell Octaplex 745, so. And I could put that extra. Now, depending on your computer, you're going to have to try to slide this stuff in a certain way. Of course, you guys, I stopped the video and I got here right in, so. That's a, you just might have to move around a little bit. Now, this is just a basic USB 2.0 card, a PCI card, not an Express, just a basic PCI Express card. Now, they do, you do have the option too if you really want to spend extra money and get USB 3.0 ports, but for this situation, we got USB 2.0 ports, so. And I actually paid 13 bucks for this, so that's not a bad price. So now, touch metal here, because you don't want to. And touch metal. Discharge any static electricity on you, because you're handling circuitry here. So now, you just got to gently handle this with hair and whatnot. Depending how you get this in, it may be a different situation for you, but see how I did it was I'm assuming this is how you do it. But don't quote me here, but you clip it in like that. And it slides right in and then obviously you zip put this clip down. Slide it back into your Dell Octaplex. We gotta make sure your card also lines up with your computer. And like I said, this has obviously been messed around with before. Because it might not be straight. So. Now, at this point, it's not fully in there yet, but how you do it, some of you might know what SD cards are. It's basically kind of like that. You just slide it right into the slot here. You just basically slide it in there. There we go. It's right in that slot now. You might have to push on it a little bit. But these are the only two ports I'll be working. The rest of these ports won't be functional anymore. Now, it's better, like I said, putting too many USB devices on one port. Like, and what I mean by that is having USB pow USB splitter powered off of one, powered off of the USB itself here instead of an external power supply. I recommend to get one of those USB splitters. That is powered off of power supply, not powered directly from this port, because that's what overloads your ports. And it won't end very well to you. It won't end very well for you. And there's no PS2 mouse or keyboard port on this computer, because it's Dell. Dell didn't think this through, but you could also get a PCI card for that too, if you really wanted it. So now, at this point, we can start connecting everything back where it was so screw your monitor back in and now instead of these being plugged into the ports directly on the computer we're going to plug in this card it's USB 2.0. It's a it's a via type of a card. Now the very standard. You may have to recognize it first. Let's see, you may, you may have to install some drivers. Yeah, I have, it didn't come with a disc, unfortunately, but 
Usually Windows will recognize it right off the bat. And some cards probably might not be able to access the BIOS, but depends on your situation here. Because, I, like I said, it didn't even come with a disc. No disc at all. So, we'll have to fiddle around here and I'll update you guys on how... Okay, do... YouTubers, so right when I turn off the camera, the mouse came on and the keyboard came to life. So, actually, you don't need to do anything, at least if you have Windows 10. It automatically recognized the cards, so now... I can move my mouse again, and I can also click the space bar and, and ignore, ignore the username, it's not mine, but now it actually works. And that is how you fix your USB ports that don't work on your Dell Octoplex, is you have to install that card, it's just, you could try checking the drivers out, but there wasn't the drivers in this case, these were all fried. So. Hope this video was helpful to you guys out there encountering this issue. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more.